What is going on YouTube citizen? Johnny and I'm bringing you part 9, yes part 9, the final part of my moon survival gameplay thingy majiggy wiggy. Yeah, that's, that's cool, let's call it that for now, okay? What I'm going to say guys is can I just give a big shout out to Kieran and Luke for playing, they've been great friends of mine for a good few years now, Kieran especially Luke's a more recent friend of a year, so thanks guys once again. And guys, I'm going to... And we're just gonna. This what happens. How we die on this is appalling. I am so sorry. It is gonna go down in Call of Duty history as one of the most embarrassing ways to die. Okay, and I'm gonna prove once and for all this game does cheat on zombies. You're gonna see the most blatant bit of cheating by this game in zombie history. Okay, and okay. Another. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. Okay, but what I'm gonna say is. I remember to click that like button, I'm going to mention that now, I'll mention it much later on in the video, blah 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 blah, and all that usual rubbish. But let's talk about the gameplay, actually let's talk about the gameplay. I have got the AK-74U, that's a bunch, or as it, I should give it its proper name, the AK-74FU. But that was, a, that was a really close shave there, okay, I thought I was going to get whacked to death. But what I'm going to say guys is I've got the cancer defibrillator, as you've seen it has proved incredibly useful over the last couple of rounds, and I've got the zap guns as well, or the wave gun, whatever you want to call it, I call it the zap, I call it the mini bundle rifles, which are brilliant, and what I'm going to say guys is, but this bit's going to be quite slow, because I'm going to hack, because their biodome's been breached, so I'm going to get the hacker and hack it in a few minutes, but I'm walking around, what I'm going to talk about while this little bit's going on, because it's nothing major happens, I'm just walking around randomly, is... I want to talk about the, because by the time this features up, the Black Ops 2 zombie trailer will be released, um, will be released on the day, but when I'm playing this, when I'm recording this, um, it'll be a day, it'll be the day, it'll be the day before, okay? Confusing? Yes, I know, but bear with me, guys, okay? But, what's going to be in this trailer, all this reveal, is it going to be a load of images, is it going to be the actual zombie trailer itself? We don't know yet. And, I've heard lots of rumours. I've, I've seen, like I've seen, there's been a few fake videos uploaded to YouTube recently from certain people who said, I've got the release trailer early and they've got nearly a good, quite a few likes, and guess what? It's the Rick Roll, okay? So guys, be careful them videos. No one, even Syndicate, Ali A, Yogi Slayer, they're just, um, I have Call of Duty, none of them have released a trailer, okay? I've been on their website, there is no trailer released, okay? So... Don't be tricked, I know all of us are really pumped and excited for the new, for this zombie trailer, okay? But don't believe it's come out yet, because as soon as it comes out, guys, I won't be able to bring you the trailer for copyright reasons, of course, but I'll be able to, I might be able, I'll, I've got a quick zombie video I've got on Call of Dead, where I'll talk about what I've seen, my thoughts about it, and I'll link in, I'll link um, the trailer in so you can watch it yourself. But as soon as I see it, guys, I will tell you, and I will release a video. What I'm going to say, guys, is if you do have Facebook, okay, sign up to call, um, type in um, Call of Duty Zombie News, okay, something like that, and you will get, um, you get, it will release the trailers. Why you get told about the trailers, the songs, and all that before YouTubers do. So that's my tip for you guys, okay. I've got the second most kills in the game, like, which is not too bad. And the thing is. We've all got roughly the same amount of kills. There's no one who's got like a million kills while everyone else got a couple of hundred. That's what I mean, guys. But what, what's more important, okay, is that with all this going on, okay, all this Call of Duty Black Ops, I think zombies, people have neglected one thing recently, which is the multiplayer. Because I'm still, I don't know how the multiplayer is going to work in the next game, so I'm still completely confused. I don't know how it's going to work and all that. But, let's think about it guys, the multiplayer is what really sold Call of Duty originally. Let's go back to Call of Duty 4, you've got the first sort of proper multiplayer, and it's sort of, there was no sort of, there was an arcade mode, but there weren't really, any really added extras, there was just the multiplayer and the campaign. Oh, there's going to be a few people screaming at the computer screen going, you're all wrong, but that's what I believe, okay? We brought Call of Duty 4 for the, for the single player and the multiplayer mostly, okay? So, the thing is, we've been spoiled over the years by the Call of Duty's games, bringing out new things. I'm not moaning about it, I think they're brilliant. But I do think over recent Call of Duty's, the multiplayer has been quite neglected. There needs to be, like, the multiplayer needs another big kick. And that's what I'm hoping Black Ops 2 does, okay? 
I do want the zombie trailer a lot, but I also want to see. I do want to see more multiplayer action. I don't know how the multiplayer is going to work. I don't know how the point, the point or assist streak is going to work. I don't know how that's all going to work and all fit in with the game. Okay. I've seen, I've seen every trail. I've seen every multiplayer action. I still am confused. So if you guys can link me any multiplayer footage and all that in the description or leave a comment inbox, whatever you want to do, then it would be really useful for me. Okay. So thank you. There's Gersh devices, which will prove very handy in this next round, in the next round. Okay, that's enough of me talking about what I want to see, and all I'm going to say is that there's a lot of games I've um, pre-ordered Black Ops 2, as I mentioned in the previous part, and so I'm really pumped for that. It's a shame that I wanted to get the home and the, the hard edition with the care package, the, the drone. I wanted all that, but it cost too much money for me, so which is a real shame, but I'm happy with just the game. I can't wait to play it. Excuse me, guys, I was rude. Sorry. <laughs> What I'm going to say there, guys, overall, is the fact that I think on the first day when it all comes out, there'll be a million and one videos for Black Ops 2, okay? And the thing is, we, I'm just hoping it's not going to be a letdown. There are certain people, I'm hoping it's not going to be a letdown. For me, Marvel for 3 was a bit of a letdown. I love the game, yes, it's a really good game, but it's still a bit of a letdown for me. It hasn't lived up to what I thought it would be like, which is... um. Which is a real shame, because I thought Modern Warfare 3, they've learned from Modern Warfare 2, which is the main thing. And the thing is, though, have they've learned, which is the best. That's what we all wanted, because I think even the people, the dedicated Modern Warfare 2 fans, will say, there was quite a few faults with the game, such as the game's first new tubes, the one-man army replenishing, replenishing your new tubes, weren't the best idea, was it, really, in hindsight, was they live to learn. The noob choose in Marvel 3, you might as well get a, a paintball gun. It probably does more damage to you than more damage than um than the new choose do. But it's you know I noticed though when I'm Marvel 3 not a few weeks ago now and they got rid of 18 guns in the one in the chamber to all or nothing. Okay, which fair enough is yeah all or nothing is my favourite. But it's a shame they got rid of them because I know a lot of YouTubers and me included did like one in the chamber occasionally. But what I think they should Call of Duty needs to do is, you know you've got the maps for all or nothing, they need to sort of block areas of the map off, like they did in Black Ops with the Wager matches, because the maps, because for me, the Call of Duty maps are just too big. All of them, for me, are just too big, which is a really irritating, because I like small maps. Even Dome, which is the smallest map, is still, the Call of Duty standards, isn't it? It's quite a big map. Let's go back to World of War, Call of Duty 4. You had shipment, which, let's be honest, guys, you could throw a grenade outside the map from one corner of the map. So it was a really short map, and that was funny. If you ask most people who play Call of Duty 4, they said, Shipment's my favourite map. Some people despise it, but they still like the concept of it. Really small, not many places to camp, running around. I remember Domination. A Domination game lasted over 30 minutes on that because no one could capture a flag. Because there was so much grenade spam. They were the good days, okay? That reminds me, guys, my next video after this series is going to be some old, what I call the series, old school gameplay. It's going to be like some Call of Duty 4. I'm probably going to do a Call of Duty 4 gameplay, and then I'll do some Call of World at War gameplays for you lot. Because, let's be honest, I love playing the older Call of Duty as well. If you get an unhacked game, it's brilliant. And I next another revive there. What? Well, yeah, so, an unhack game is brilliant, okay? Okay, breathe, Tom, you need to breathe, okay. And also, we've been on, I've noticed there isn't nowhere near as many unhack games on. I, when I went on Call of Duty 5 and 4 again, I was just like, oh, God, I'm expensive. I'm not, I am tempted to prestige, I'm on Warfare, um, um, Modern Warfare 1, which is Call of Duty 4. No, I'm not, excuse me, I'm tempted to prestige, top rank of 5 and Modern Warfare 2. But I'm, I think I'm at 7th or 8th prestige on Call of Duty 4, so, see, I, I, I've ne Call of Duty 4 was the first Call of Duty I played, but I only played it for about, I've only really played Call of Duty 4 for a, a, a less than about a week and a bit, I have equivalent gameplay, while well, I played World at War for 22 days, Modern Warfare 2, 31 days, ahem, <clears throat> Black Ops is not so bad for you guys, okay, and I almost went down by a crawler. Yes, that would have been great, to, and I would, I would have cried, because 
Oh, it's embarrassing going down by crawlers. I think everyone agrees. If you go down by a crawler, you should just not give up right in the game, effectively, because it's embarrassing. Especially if it's just one crawler. But it's better than Kim who went down at round one. Sorry, I have to remind him of that. And I still take the McAvin now. But, see what I mean, guys? The thing is, uh, World at War, I think the fact of the matter is, I'm a very aggressive player on the old Call of Duties, which works really well. But on the newer ones, I can't be as aggressive because the sort of the game match are all different. People have sort of I don't know about the game. There's, there's something wrong with Call of Duty. What's happened to it? Go if all of you play Call of Duty four and five, you know there's a sort of there's nowhere near as many campers. And my belief is simple: you don't have to re re re. Uh, sorry, can't get my words out. Really high kill streak rewards, and a lot of people go well. Wow, you should be a reward for getting high kill streaks. Well, easy. Seven kill streaks, guys. Let's be honest. It's pretty easy, isn't it? However, if you watch me on one, my one three, I really struggle to get to seven kills. I, I mean, even with the, um, even if I have like UAV predator to attack helicopter, it's very rare I get all the way there first time because it, because I can't do it. I just struggle. I don't know whether it's me losing my skill, but. It can't be me, of course, because I've gone back on four, uh, Call of Duty 4 and 5 and did really well. So, let me know what you think, guys, okay? That's enough of me rabbiting about that. You're going to see, this game, from now on, starts cheating, okay? The game must not like me. I've always said that about Call of Duty. The more modern Call of Duty don't like me, because every bit of unluck that you can get, I get. And here comes, you see, I'm the main reviver, because I've got the cancer defibrillator. And guess what happens? I somehow get caught by the cosmonaut. That was really legit. So, I'm sorry, that cosmonaut did not hit me. So I throw my Gershvice, which is a real waste. Should, that's going to cost me later on that mistake there, guys. You're going to see. I've got the most kills now. And you can see we're going to kill that. Um, I think, see, I love the cosmonaut being your friend's name. Because it's quite funny looking at when you put push playing with them. Um, Especially when you're not the host, to see what other people have got on their friends list. It's just, I think it's just me, obviously. But, that was a bit risky by Kieran there, you saw, with his knife. And we finally killed the cosmonaut. So now we go down to... Okay, guys, the video is racking up now. I'm not going to spoil... You're not going to believe what happens on, on, on Earth. Because the game cheats, which is a fact, okay? That's a, so let's just hope... Let's just hope Black Ops 2 fixes the zombies' double hit ability because that's really annoying when you have got Jug on double hit it. Okay, so I decided to pack a bunch of zap guns because, let's be honest, they are running out of ammo consistently. I can't risk it any longer. And for some reason, Kieran went down there. I don't know why I think he wants to pack a bunch of that. Now, how much would say? I don't know how I missed up this stuff. Now, guys, you can see how useful a Gersh device would have been at this moment. So guys, the video is racking up here. We got to 22 only, which is not very good, is it really? And both of them go down now. I need to, I my my wave gun needs reloading. It's pandemonium. And guys, I'm gonna say this game cheats. You're gonna see it in a second why I think this game cheats. And I'm gonna say, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the series as much as I have. I somehow missed that. So remember to click that like button. That zombie knocked me down in one hit. I swear down that zombie knocked me down in one hit. But anyway, guys, that's the video over. Remember to click that like button. It takes a second. Click to subscribe, the comment, the share button, and all that rubbish. So, send us Johnny Stein out. So, peace out, guys. Peace out. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. We all fall down. <laughs>